Welcome to Healthy Living. My special guest today is celebrity chef Ellie Krieger, author of the brand new cookbook, Whole in One. And Ellie, this cookbook is phenomenal. I've been looking through it and the pictures are amazing, which is so great because people can see what the finished product looks like. But by far the best thing about it is each recipe is made in one vessel. Yes. It is complete healthy meals in a single sheet pan, pot, or skillet. So not only is it a one pot kind of cookbook, but it is nutritionist certified, registered dietitian certified, complete meals. So if it's a vegetarian meal, then I make sure that there's enough protein in there. If it's a meat meal or a chicken or fish, then I make sure there's plenty of vegetables and whole grains so there's lots of fiber and phytochemicals, all that good stuff we want from our vegetables. Um, so it's really balanced. It's delicious. I mean, that's the most important thing, right? right. That and it's there are just so delicious. Many there are so many things that people who make meals, especially meals for families, think about. Of course, we want to please our family. We want to give them food that they love, but also we care so much about nutrition. That's like number one on my list. But then oftentimes nutritious food takes a long time to prepare and often doesn't taste that great. But all of those questions are answered in here. Yes. Taste is number one for me. It also, because if it's not delicious, you're not going to necessarily want to make it again. I'm all about it. it has to taste amazing and it has to have a certain wow factor, right? And then it should also be, you know, nutritious and fulfilling from a nutritional point of view. So that's that. Also, what I did in this book is not only is every recipe made in one sheet pan pot or skillet, you notice you don't need any kind of fancy gadget. A lot of one pot cookbooks, you need to have a electronic appliance that takes up half your counter space, really regular versatile pots and pans. But what I did was every single recipe in the whole book can be made in one of six vessels. Oh. This cookware is absolutely beautiful. Can I tell you? Thank I'm you. going to ask my kids to get this oh, for me for yay, Christmas yeah. because it's so pretty and it's Thank so nice you. to cook in cookware that you just love. Feel good about. So yeah. it's great for people starting out if it's really all the essentials, mm -hmm. but it's also nice if you need an upgrade and you're just ready for something new and fresh. And I love the Merlot color. Me too. Me too. <laughs> and speaking of Christmas, this is an excellent gift because it's so practical for everyone, regardless of what their cooking level is. So now you're going to be showing us how to make these phenomenal nachos. And again, my favorite part about them is they're healthy, yeah. healthy, 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 but also really decadent. So I yeah. want both of those. things. <laughs> so one of the things that I do to make it healthy is I use potatoes instead of chips, right? Okay. Typically nachos are made with like greasy fried chips, yeah. but here I just slice potatoes and roast them on the pan. So it's all happening on one sheet pan. I roast them on the pan, and then once they're crisp, I kind of just move them together like this to pile them up. And now, making it a complete meal, I use beans. So there's a can of pinto beans, mm -hmm. or really any kind of small red bean mm -hmm. you can you want. And, and then boy, I just those are cheap. Yeah, I mean, it's very, very economical. It really is. And then I just put some garlic. I spice those up because we want a lot of flavor, right? Some chili powder. Um, cumin, coriander. I don't know if you want to put some of that salt in sure, here too. Sure, sure. Just... So these are the Mexican ingredients: the cumin and the coriander. Yeah, and Most the chili have them powder in their, too. And their spice cabinet. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, these are mm. kind of, to me, the the essential basics. Mm -hmm. So then, I pour that on top, and so then you're getting lots of protein in this mm -hmm. meal. Mm -hmm. So now, I, for people who don't like beans, you can substitute you meat, right? You could do ground beef, absolutely here. So, and then that's a meaty meal. But um, or you could do ground turkey. Right. That would be nice too. Yeah. And then I just use cheese. So cheese, I use. I see food as usually, sometimes, and rarely. So I make most of my dishes full of the usually foods, full of vegetables, fruits, lean proteins, and ingredients like cheese. Mm -hmm. I use in minimum amounts for maximum impact. So you want the melty cheese on there, mm -hmm. but you just don't have to use a ton of it. You know. Mm -hmm. So there's two mm -hmm. kinds of cheese, and what happens is this goes in the oven for the cheese to melt, and okay. I'm, I have one in there. I'm gonna all right. pull it out. So it's not really gonna take very long for all this stuff to melt. I mean, we're talking no. about five minutes or so, right? Yeah, about uh, roughly seven. All right, oh, Ooh. there's the finished product. Ooh, gorgeous, so right? Good. Well, this is only step one of the gorgeousness. Oh. Okay, so then, on top of here, you add some more lovely, bright toppings. So, I put avocado, 
my favorite food. Is it? It's becoming it's so my favorite good. food. It's just the perfect food. It's that healthy fat. Yeah, absolutely. And it just adds so much to make this a complete meal. And what you can do also is you can serve this for four as a complete meal, or you can serve it for a party. I mean, this yeah. is something fun to dig into on game day. Yes, yeah, Super um, Bowl. And you know, I mean, I love the fact that these are potatoes. Now, do you use white potatoes in place just, of the chips? Yeah, regular potato. Any any kind of potatoes will really mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. Yukon Gold russets would would, would mm -hmm. work for this. Mm -hmm. And then I do some yogurt for some creaminess. And look how gorgeous this is. Yogurt I mean, in place of sour cream. Yes. Okay, that's so just, healthier. Exactly. But is it, is it, is it as good? I think so. Well, I use the really nice, thick Greek yogurt. Oh, okay. And that makes a really big difference. Okay, that's a good to know. So I've never really been brave enough to substitute yogurt for sour cream. Oh, you should try it. But anyway, okay. even if you want a little sour cream, it's just a little. Anyway, so being careful not to burn ourselves, mm -hmm. we can actually dig in. Oh. But this is the one sheet pan potato nachos, and they're so good. Oh. And you know you wish you were here eating them with us. I wish mm, you, you were too. Amazing. I'm going to try this yogurt mm. to it's see how it compares to sour cream. So good. All right. Oh, oh this is so good. Can't it, tell the difference. It does the trick, right? Mm. So once again, the title is whole in one, play on words, because you can make a whole dish, no, a whole meal, mm -hmm. not a whole dish, a whole meal, in it, one container, one vessel, one as you say. Sheet pan, pot, or skillet. Sheet pan, pot, or skillet. And um, these are all extremely nutritious and also pretty fast and also economical. I mean, what more could you want, right? Exactly. It's all there. It's you a hole-in-one. Um, and, <laughs> and the uh, cookware is amazing, so Thank beautiful. You. And people can go to your website, right, yes. if they wanted to get more information about the cookware. The cookware, the books, all what I'm up to with videos and mm -hmm. um, on elliekrieger.com. And you, this is your seventh cookbook, right? Yes. And I've, I've been watching you for years before when you were on the Food Network. Now you have the wonderful show on PBS called Ellie's Real Good yes, Food. Yes, thank you so much. And that's on many times on PBS, so check your local listings. Thanks. All right, so we're going to come uh, take a real quick break. And when we come back, Ellie's going to show us what you can do with your Thanksgiving leftovers, which will wow your family. On October 1st, 1961, history was made when a tiny station began transmitting the first signals of the Christian Broadcasting Network. CBN, the Christian Broadcasting Network. And now, a new era has begun with the all-new CBN News Channel. Just moments ago, the Iron Dome intercepted an incoming rocket right on the Gaza border. And ministering in this area, spiritual warfare is definitely involved. A 24-7 news network bringing you the news you want from a source you can trust. In Kenya, 40% of the medical services are actually provided by these Christian hospitals. Let's talk about the economy. Believers here are joining together to win people to Jesus Christ. All your favorite shows now in one place. Go to CBNNewsChannel.com to find out how to get the CBN News Channel on your TV all day, every day. CBN News. Mm. Life is better with a good night's sleep. Get your free DVD or booklet of Protect Your Sleep today. Life, it's meant to be lived fully. Jesus said it, I came to give you life, life to the fullest. Life in your family, life in your finances, life in your body, mind, and spirit, life in your everyday. At CBN.com, we're taking what Jesus said seriously. We're here to help you discover life. Life. Live it fully. CBN.com. CBN News. No filter. 24-7 news. Through the lens of faith. From natural disasters to breaking news in the Holy Land. We have access to stars in entertainment and to top newsmakers. 
We are fighting for your freedoms. CBN News, because truth matters. Become a CBN News member today. And welcome back to Healthy Living. We're here with Ellie Krieger, author of the new book, Whole in One. And Ellie has a fantastic leftover turkey recipe for us. No more of those awful turkey sandwiches. No, I mean, I have something really delicious. This is turkey tinga tacos. Love it. I mean, tacos. Who doesn't love a taco, right? I don't think anyone doesn't like a taco. <laughs> <laughs> so I developed this recipe to use with chicken, with rotisserie chicken, actually, which you can do, you know, throughout the year, of course. But now that we have this leftover turkey, why wouldn't we make the most of it? Exactly. Um, so really just started off here cooking some onions and garlic in a pan. And this is all made in one skillet because it's a hole in one, yes. right? So um, garlic and onions, and then we're gonna make this beautiful, flavorful sauce mm -hmm. for the turkey, but um, really easily. So basically it just involves adding some tomato paste. Tomato I mean, paste. I'm sorry, tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, it's, a, it's not as thick yeah, as tomato Yeah, it's like a puree. Mm -hmm. um, so just a can of the tomato uh, puree. Just one can, that's great yeah, because you don't waste. Yeah, 14 can, exactly. Yeah. And then um, some green salsa, some salsa verde, mm -hmm. tomatillo salsa. And then you can buy, you know, you buy a jar of that. And essentially, you can use that also just as a regular dipping salsa as well. Okay. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. um, also, what goes in here is some nice smoky spice from chipotle chili in adobo. So it, this comes in a can also. And just a little goes a long way to bring so much smoky, rich flavor. So for those of who don't really know about this particular ingredient, it's chipotle chili yeah. in adobo sauce. Yes. And you would find it on the international aisle of the grocery yeah, store? Just in the canned food section, mm -hmm. in the international aisle, mm -hmm. um, where you might find other sort of taco ingredients. Okay. Um, but basically, it's uh, chipotle is a smoked jalapeno. Okay. So you think about it with the heat of a jalapeno. So mm -hmm. you want to use about a tablespoon. And then the sauce that it comes in is super flavorful. So I put a little bit of that in That's also. That's the adobo sauce. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you will inevitably have leftovers because a little bit goes a long way, as I said. What I like to do with the leftovers, I put them in little plastic baggies and freeze them. Wonderful. So then you have like sort of individual portions for, and you can put that in your regular chili. You could put it in meatloaf. It's really good. Um, so there's lots of things you can do with it. So, so that's great. Some people will really love the heat. Some people like me don't like it very much at all. So right. for people who like me don't like a lot of spice, how much are we talking about? So I mean, I would start with maybe two teaspoons. Mm -hmm. Two teaspoons. And then taste and see at the end, you okay. know, because it's going to reduce for a while. Okay. And the flavors concentrate as it reduces. So okay. it's better. To, you can always add more, but you can't ah, take away. A great right? rule That's of thumb. That's a good <laughs> cooking rule of thumb. So then just some oregano and salt and some chicken broth. And then this just comes to a simmer. Mm -hmm. How much chicken broth are you putting in there? So that's, oh gosh, I think that's about uh, half a cup. Okay. Because a lot of people have, and can you substitute turkey broth? A lot of people you have extra turkey, turkey broth, broth after or Thanksgiving. Or even you could put water, a little water in there okay. too. Um, so then this comes to a boil and starts to simmer, and you want it to really cook down so it gets like a darker shade of red. Darker shade um, of and red. And that, that will really develop the flavor. And how long does that take about? Oh, it takes about maybe 10, 15, 10 minutes, I would say. Okay, that's fast. Yeah, super fast and super easy, as you can see, very little chopping involved. Mm -hmm. And then it winds up looking like this. And so the tomato really takes on that rich, dark mm -hmm. color. And you can smell the smokiness yes, of the chili. Yes, it smells like a Mexican restaurant in here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that'll be such a great treat for people on Thanksgiving week and you're know, watching the yeah, football games totally. to have something a little bit different than the traditional Thanksgiving Totally. Meal. And you could even do like kind of mini tacos and make them like kind of bite size. Perfect. And that would be fun finger food for yeah, like game day. Absolutely. Um, so then the turkey or you could do rotisserie chicken, of course. Mm -hmm. um, then that goes in. And it just simmers together mm -hmm. until it really absorbs the flavor. All mm -hmm. the turkey is warmed through and the flavors are absorbed. And then you use this as your main taco mix. And again, it's one skillet. And then what I like to do, I want to show you as this kind of simmers in here, I want to show you what I think is really essential to do for your tortillas. Mm -hmm. And I, I see that the turkey, chicken or turkey pieces, they're not real tiny. They're just sort of like bite-sized. They're actually 
pretty chunky. Yeah, well, I like to just shred it. Mm -hmm. Kind of, it gives it that like rustic feel. Mm -hmm. And Plus, you do again, want... not too much time. Exactly. Spending chopping it up. Exactly. Real small. You don't have to spend a lot of time and effort. That's the whole idea here to have like a whole meal mm -hmm. that's really nutritionally complete, that's all healthy ingredients, mm -hmm. that's also easy to do. And if it's easy and tasty, yeah. then you're more likely to cook at home right. and to have that meal at home and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, I'm going to let that simmer away and I want to show you how I heat up the tortillas. Okay. So I like to use corn tortillas or flour, but whole grain. Whole Whenever grain, possible. okay, because when you go into the tortilla section of the grocery store, it's overwhelming. There's yeah. so much to choose from, and I'm like, ah, I'm yeah, not so sure. It can be. So, like, what size, and what is it made out of, and right. everything. So, so the so size is just your yeah. preference, okay. right? So, whatever size you like, but I... There, I wouldn't pick the huge ones okay. because that's more like a burrito size okay. kind of thing. So I would say this, these are like six inch. Mm -hmm. um, and then you just put it, if you have a gas stove, you just put it on the stove like that. Wow. And wow, I just keep, put it right on there. Just put it right on there. Uh, okay. I saw just a like little 30, flame. And that's all right. But this is very authentic. But you don't want to walk away from it, right? Okay. You want to you wanna stay there. And then it gets yeah. this nice little char. Mm -hmm. And then you put it in your you know, in your little towel or whatever, and they all stay warm like that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. then you can build your taco. Oh, look, this is simmering oh, beautifully yeah. now, huh? Oh, I can just imagine people around the house just, what is that smell? Oh, and just getting everybody so excited about it. Oh, yeah, it smells wonderful. And um, so here, then, then, what I love about taco night also is then everything just goes out on the table. Everyone can build their own. Can we build yeah, one? Yeah, sure. All right, I think we have a plate right here, so. Okay, so then I just put some of the, I would put this out on the table, and okay. so then it just is casual and fun. Uh-huh, whatever you, you put want. Some of the turkey there. And then you can top yours. Why don't you go ahead right, and top sure. it? Sure. And so these are like the like. typical. This is sort of like um, salsa type thing. Yeah, some or? salsa and some lettuce. Yeah. I like to keep it really green and vegetable oriented. So I then you have your You're your my whole grain carb on the bottom. Yeah, you got. You have your veggies. protein and you have lots of veggies. So okay. it's a complete meal, and it's super fun. Oh yeah. Oh, and that so one now you like did good. I that know. looks great. Is it, so you you kind of do oh, like yeah. this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a quick bite. This is probably oh, not going to be enjoy. very camera friendly. <laughs> but it, it's beautiful. A little messy taco is mm. a beautiful thing. Mm. <laughs> it's very Wonderful. good. Oh, good. Mm. And not too spicy for you, huh? Well, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, Ellie is going to share more recipes from her brand new cookbook, Hole in One. Life is better with a good night's sleep. Get your free DVD or booklet of Protect Your Sleep today. I'm Ephraim Graham, and this is Studio 5. Cruise with me as I discover the good things happening in the world of music, sports, television, and movies. The fact that Ryan Coogler was going to be directing the film, I knew that something special was going to happen. We'll chat with artists at the forefront of entertainment and explore the connection between popular culture and faith. I asked my pastor, I said, well, does that mean I'm supposed to be a preacher? He says, well, no, you already have a pulpit. Watch Studio 5, Wednesday night at 9.30. Remember for a moment what it was like to be a child. You believed every story you were told. You saw a world full of endless possibilities. What stories will the world's orphaned and at-risk children believe? We believe the Bible tells the only story truly worth believing. We believe that every child should have the opportunity to dream, the chance to take challenges and turn them into possibilities, the chance to stand on the promises of God, to recognize their place in the greatest story ever told. They have their whole lives ahead of them. Theirs is a world of endless possibilities. They are looking for a story to believe. We will tell them that story. Will you join us?
We're back with celebrity chef Ellie Krieger, author, the author of the brand new cookbook, Hole in One. And I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. You have six dishes here that are featured in the cookbook. Wow. Yeah, they look wonderful. I'm so excited to have them all splayed out like this. And it's great to see the finished product. But what I love about this cookbook is you have so many beautiful pictures so folks can see what the finished product is supposed yeah, to I look like. I love at. the photos in the book. Like. They really come to life yeah, on the page. Really and I'm so, I worked so hard on these recipes. You know, it takes like two years to create the cookbook. So wow. it's so wonderful to bring them to everyone now. So I'm excited to, to share with you. I have each one of these made in one pot, one sheet pan or one skillet. So here, this is a Brazilian style seafood stew. Um, and you know what? I like to do like all kinds of world flavors. I like to say I have, I do like a Mediterranean style of eating but with world flavors. So I love to explore flavors from around the globe. However, always with ingredients that are easy to find. Oh, you know, wonderful. I don't want people having to traipse around to different stores or order online. This right. is all stuff that's easy to find. So this is a Brazilian style seafood stew. You can use any kind of kind of white flaky fish. I like to put shrimp in. You could put scallops if you want. There's um, bell peppers, two colors of bell peppers in there, some coconut milk, paprika. It has a nice limey tang to it. And it's a beautiful dish, and it is a hole in one, really. The whole, the whole meal, meal is made in one dish. That's absolutely exactly. incredible. And when you were listing the ingredients, I was like, yeah, that's healthy, that's healthy, that's healthy. Exactly. Because as a dietitian, you're really concerned about healthy foods. And you like to focus on plant based foods, things that are uh, vegetables, whole grains, and fruits. Yes, yeah, so mostly plant based, but I'm really an omnivore, and I bring in all kinds of different ingredients um, to the table essentially but really thinking how can I get color how can I get produce into this meal and have that be like a driving force of flavor um, and color for the dish um, so this is a perfect example the skillet meal this is in this beautiful dish here but it's made in one skillet and it's pork chop so when I'm using meat it's lean meat and I really do look for ethically raised meats whenever I can. Um, that's something I do look for. But anyway, so it's pork chops and it's rubbed with fennel seed, crushed fennel seed, and it gives it almost this sausagey yeah. kind of vibe, sausagey taste, right. but without it being a processed meat. It's a fresh meat. Perfect. Um, and so then I cook that. It's great for fall because it's yeah. with sweet potatoes and kale and apple and onion. So it has that sweet, savory thing going on. That is a total family favorite. Um, this, okay, I have desserts in the book too. Okay. And I, they're not complete meals, the desserts. <laughs> Hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely desserts and definitely have a healthy twist to them, but are still super decadent. So this is uh, chocolate almond bark, dark chocolate, and the key ingredient, and this is just made in one, one um, sheet pan. Right. The key ingredient that makes it really great is some sea salt. Oh, so sweet and salty, my favorite. Yeah, it's an oh. amazing combination. So here I have a grain bowl, and this is a one skillet grain bowl, and it looks so dynamic and like so much is going on. It's hard to believe almost that it's made in a skillet, um, but it's made with whole grain bulgur. Mm. Um, which I adore. I love the nutty taste of it. And it has chicken and spinach and then some fresh vegetables, some uh, cucumber and tomato and olives and herbs and a wonderful tahini dressing. Mm. But literally all done in one skillet and you have the hot element of the grain and then the cool vegetables, some cooked, some raw vegetables. I've heard good things about bulgur. I've never tried it before. Oh my goodness, you yeah. have to try it. It's great. I'm and going to try and that And it takes dish. like minutes to cook. Oh, so wonderful. So it's fabulous. And then this is a soup. I have lots of soups in the book. Mm -hmm. This is a wonderful chicken soup with quinoa and it has lots of vegetables in it. And that's how I kind of make it into a meal. I put that whole grain quinoa in there. It makes it really hearty and wonderful. And last but not least, another dessert. Another dessert, and I love this one because it's roasted pears, mm -hmm. and um, and roasted fruit is lovely. So roasted fall fruit, you can do this with grapes, you can do this with apples, but I love it with the pears. Wow. And um, I just crumble up some regular ginger snap cookies, crush them, put them on the bottom of the plate, pears on top, and it really makes the fruit 
burst into the dessert world, basically. Wow. So again, one skillet on that one. These all look phenomenal. And once again, you can find each and every one of these dishes in Ellie's brand new cookbook, Whole in One. And it's a snap to make and even faster to clean up. That's what you hate about uh, oh, certain, yeah. certain cookbooks is having all these pots and pans, but yeah, you only have one main up. one. To, and your husband does the cleanup, so yeah. that's awfully so nice this of you. This book's a big favor to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll be back with more with Ellie Krieger right after this. I am region's first ROTC graduate student. Meet the pastors who are preaching the gospel in a fresh, fearless way. I'm Roberto Torres Cedillo. Join me each week for Next Gen Voices. And watch God transform a generation. How would you like to get a redo on your health, on your body, on your arteries, so you could have the energy you had 20 years ago? The great news is you can. I'm Dr. Mike Roizen, chair of the Wellness Institute at the Cleveland Clinic. I've written four New York Times bestsellers. But even better than having to read all that, you can listen to this DVD and watch it. Protect your heart? Yes, you can. Here's how. Go to CBN.com or call 1-800-700-7000 for your free copy of Protect Your Heart. Let the medical experts show you their new discoveries on how to avoid heart disease and even reverse it. Easy steps to uncover the hidden dangers in your medicine cabinet, reduce stress, and get a complete do-over for your health. Call 1-800-700-7000. That's 1-800-700-7000. Or go to CBN.com to claim your free copy of Protect Your Heart. We're back with Ellie Krieger, celebrity chef and author of the brand new cookbook, Whole in One. This is the cookbook that you need that is a great gift because uh, who doesn't want to make an entire meal in just one vessel? I know I do. And I mean, everybody's busy out there, right? That's right. And, you know, a cleanup is a snap, too. Uh, you know, you were talking about some of the ingredients in these bulgur and quinoa that are supposedly really healthy grains, but a lot of people haven't used them before. How do you make those? So, I mean, actually, it's just as easy as making rice. Making quinoa, if you can make rice, you can make quinoa. And actually, quinoa cooks in the same amount of time as white rice, which so is just like 15 minutes. You basically just boil it. Mm -hmm. um, and the quinoa, you just put into the soup uh, in this case. So mm -hmm. that's easy. And I really give you very clear instructions. So you don't have to worry. The bulgur, you just kind of reconstitute in hot water. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. So don't be intimidated by it. But one of the things I really love to do, so I use mostly like fresh foods or really whole grain staples, minimally processed. But I really believe in using smart, healthy shortcuts. And one of my favorites that I discovered when I was making this book, um, speaking of whole grains, is a lot of whole grains, including brown rice, which takes like sometimes an hour to cook, comes frozen. And literally on the ingredient list, it just says brown rice. And you take it and you put it in a microwave safe dish and you microwave it and it comes out. I was really amazed myself when I tried it at first. And it comes out just as good as if you cooked it on the stove. Wonderful. What a great time-saving tip. All right. Well, once again, the book is Whole in One. Ellie Krieger, thanks so much for being with us today. And thanks to you as well for joining us for this edition of Healthy Living. And we'll see you again next time.